We're back. Another basic bogeys episode. Um, similar to like the the four play pod, they get a lot of these different pro golfers out in this scene. Obviously, they get a bunch of pro golfers, but they always have Kevin Kisner as their guy. And today we have our Kevin Kisner, Ricky Riley, back on the pod. I don't know what episode this, how many this is for you, but you're getting up there. I'm getting up there and I'm freaking <clears throat> pumped every time. Yeah. Every, I think I get more excited every time I get invited to come back and it's, uh, <laughs> and you know, I'm always, always looking for another chance to talk with you guys. And, um, yeah, man, pumped to be here. Pumped to be here. I think it is yeah. four or five, honestly. Cause I think there were, there was one, there was one for, um, one before the qualifier and everything, before the right? qualifier, there was one yeah. after the qualifier yeah. I think there might have been two between. No, maybe not. I think there was one. I think we split one into two episodes two. because I think it was the recap two. that it was. There was so, so much to cover that we we split. Well, I was up. on. That was just one time being on. Yeah, and then yeah. I was on after the uh, U.S. Adaptive Open. So this is four. Yeah. Let's go. And so Let's today, this is following the gap. The Golf Association of Philadelphia, they had an adaptive event that you got down to. Uh, it was just last week. Um, mm-hmm. I know you had reached out, I think it was right before you went down. And it was, I think we we already knocked out the episode because we knew like I was out of town. But it was, I mm-hmm. saw it. I was like in, um, over by Hartford, Connecticut. And I was like, damn, I wish I knew about that beforehand. Because we saw other people were going to that right there in Philly too. And we have like, uh, because of like our connection with, with Acorn Hills, they have like, we've connected with quite a few golfers from the Philly area too. So like, that's like a hot spot that we got to get to at some point for for golf. And Heck yeah, dude! Just networking dude, and stuff. It's such a good spot for golf, and I would have never thought. But um, yeah, it, it was it was awesome, dude. The the country clubs were awesome, and 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 definitely you got to get out there. Yeah. So you played at two different courses over the two days, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. No. It, and so. Yeah, you go ahead. Well, yeah, what what courses were they? I mean, they. You, I think you said they were both yeah. private clubs, so they were real yeah. nice oh, spots. Yeah, dude, they were they were like private as private gets. It, like I would compare it to like Onondaga out here. Um, gotcha. So like yeah. literally just like top tier, beautiful courses. Um, the Gap did amazing at finding us some some really nice courses to um, to go to go to battle at. Um, uh in two days so um the way it worked was because they were so top notch they they only gave us one practice day um Mm. so uh you you either got one or the other um courses um so um the the two courses were look away and doylestown and i got doylestown for my practice round and I just kept hearing about, you know, Doylestown is beautiful, you know, nothing to take away from them. But I just kept hearing, look away, look away, look away. Even in like articles that I was reading before the tournament, they were saying how Doylestown was honored to be even associated in a tournament with look away. That's like how oh, top notch yeah, yeah. look away re- really is. So um, I, w- I was a little disappointed not to be able to get on look away for a practice round. Cause I knew it was going to be tough. Both of them were going to be tough. Yeah. Um, plus look away was the first day. Um, so I had the practice round on the second, um, second day's course, yeah, round two. which was gotcha. fine, which was great, but it kind of, I went into day one a little more blind than I would have liked. Um, so yeah. yeah, dude, like as, as we go on, I'll talk more about the courses, but it was, I mean, literally just, the the gap did such an amazing job at, at giving us the true like experience and um and you know I just I I am so impressed with the tournament they put on it, it was truly really truly uh, amazing yeah and this was also in the meantime too since we talked last you went to the adaptive tournament in Ohio also right yeah was it Ohio yeah how yep. how was that and that like what was the experience like there just compared to like the adaptive open so it was great it was great they did a great job too um it was so a little funny story so um everyone at the u.s adaptive open in kansas like i'd meet somebody and i'd say like oh this is my first ever adaptive event whatever 
And everyone, literally everyone without fail would be like, they're not all like this. Like, don't, don't get, and obviously like I took it with a grain of salt where like, obviously it's not that, but it, it seems like they put a lot of attention at. And so I went to Ohio and that was like my second ever event for adaptive. Like I've played in college, I've played all that stuff, but, um, so I didn't really know what to expect. And, uh, Ohio, the practice round after driving like five hours, I get out of the car and I, like the, the guy in the shed is like, yeah, you're here for the practice round. Like you can just go, you can go tee off behind the, the group of four that just went out and they're just like random people. And, <laughs> and I'm like spoiled. Like I had, we had the course ourselves for two days for a practice yeah. round in um, Kansas. So I'm like, like, I got to go like behind them. And I had like, it was a <laughs> municipal course. So like literally like a lot of people who weren't, you know, top tier golfers were playing. So I had like balls coming in my fairway and I'm trying to like <laughs> write notes of the course. So it was definitely like an eye opener that I was like, I understand what people are saying. So, but that tournament was great. I, I, I struggled in the first day. Um, as you'll see, I have a little trend for this. Um, and then, uh, it came, I came back on the second day and, um, so funny story. I, uh, I, I wasn't very happy with how I played. Right. And came in like, I think I came in like 12th, 11th or 12th. And, um, so I, I was kind of scared like for my world ranking because I was 161 mm. and like at the time I was like still learning about world ranking. I'm like, I thought 161 was sick. So I didn't, I didn't want to lose that. Right. So I'm like, yeah. damn man, like I'm going to have to check that. You know, I really hope I'm not like in the two hundreds, you know? So, um, I checked my ranking the day that it came out. And I was 86. I dropped from 161 to 86. And I'm like, am I messing something here? You know? (laughs) So I wasn't complaining. I was like, okay, like 11th got me, you know, that good of a drop, I guess. Then I'm driving one day. It was like a few days later. And my mom calls me. She's like, hey, you got something in the mail from the Northern Ohio Golf Association. And it says pay to the order of Ricky Riley. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, interesting. I was like, so I yeah. gave her permission. I'm like, open it for me if you don't mind. It was a check for 500 bucks. Jeez. So just like prize I money? Won, I won short stature. Oh. I was the only short stature golfer there. <laughs> so here I am for a bunch of weeks stressing about how bad I played. And how bad my ranking is. Dude, if, if I knew that going into this tournament, the stress level would have been, like, so low. So yeah. low. And so I was so confused for, like, the longest time. But then on the check, it said, um, you know, short stature, division winner, or whatever. And that made sense yeah. why I dropped so much in the, um, in the rankings. And I'm like, geez, if 11th or 12th place gets me down that much, I'm like, I'm going to... Keep, keep getting that you know like i'll keep going there but so that made sense and it was it was a great event it was their second one i think and um mm. yeah man just playing in all these different you know every every state keeps kind of learning about adaptive golf and wanting to get their toes in it and they want to put on the best show they can and ohio did a great job um and the gap is just did a great job as well so it was a lot of fun Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.